If you have never visited this channel before, you may not realize how much I've been awaiting the new 2021 iPad Pro. And now, halfway through March, we're literally a week from Apple March event when this thing is gonna get presented. So I think this will be a great time to analyze the 2021 iPad Pro once and for all. But before we start, if you're gonna like what you see here and maybe you wanna see more of that, make sure to smash that subscribe button since I'll be covering the new 2021 iPad Pro here on this channel. Also, you may smash that like button if you're gonna enjoy this video and comment if you have any question, maybe suggestion. And now let's talk about this beast of a device that's gonna get unleashed soon. The 2020 model, even though it wasn't a huge upgrade, it certainly brought nice features for the past year. Features like more RAM, better thermal performance, a little bit better graphical performance, better microphones, more base storage, as well as some improvements to the camera. So it was a great buy for the 2020. But with the current Pro being available for a year, we can now expect some major changes in the departments that haven't been upgraded that much the previous year. And I'm gonna start with the most important one. And surprisingly, it's not gonna be the display, on that later but it's gonna be the performance. And why would anyone consider performance more important than long rumored mini LED display? Well, the 2020 iPad Pro wasn't a huge upgrade in terms of processing power. The A12Z basically brought to the table one extra GPU core, more RAM and better thermal performance, which resulted in overall better peak performance capabilities for the 2020 iPad Pro. And that's it, it was great for the time being, when A14 was basically the best chipset Apple had to offer, but then came iPad Air 4 with A14, which was actually better than A12Z in few departments. Not all, Multicore was still better for A12Z, so it has advantage in that, but that prompts Apple to upgrade significantly the performance in 2021 iPad Pro. And when I say significantly, I mean it's gonna be pretty much M1 performance, since the A14X that's gonna be in the new 2021 iPad Pro is basically probably modified M1 processor, or it's just basically the A14 with more cores. Regardless of what it is, the performance of this thing is gonna be insane, and it may actually be maybe even more powerful, twice more powerful than the current A12Z, Maybe not as much, but the performance upgrade is really gonna be huge. And this thing is probably gonna destroy anything on the market in terms of performance. Any tablet, any smartphone, it's just not even gonna come close. The current 2020 Pro is still a beast. And to put you into proper perspective, I mean, think about that. The A12 processor, the standard processor that Apple offers, is basically enough for everything. For any task, any gaming, games like Call of Duty Mobile are running perfectly smooth and you have basically no troubles when it comes to performance. The A12Z is basically twice more powerful than that, so that already makes it a beast. And now imagine A14X being like 80% more powerful than that. I mean, it's literally gonna be insane performance and it's gonna provide you great peak capabilities of the device in terms of rendering, gaming, anything you're gonna do for years. I mean, this is gonna be a huge upgrade since it's gonna prolong the longevity and the overall speed. And it's not like 2020 Pro is slow, but this thing is gonna be even better Maybe even you're gonna notice that immediately since the multi-core performance and single core performance are gonna be better and when it comes to single core it's usually noticeable in day-to-day -day tasks. So it's gonna be a big upgrade and by big I mean into the future. Right now the difference is not gonna be huge but as the years go by, three years from now this thing is still gonna be extremely powerful. So I consider this to be the most important upgrade that the current 2021 iPad Pro is gonna bring. And now back to the display. Why didn't I consider mini LED to be the most important upgrade to the current Pro? Well, basically, because it's just gonna be a great improvement and we don't even actually know if it's gonna come to 11 inch, probably not, only 12.9 inch is rumored to have mini LED display and 11 inch may as well have the same display as the current Pro. So that's why I think it's not that much of an upgrade and actually think about it. How much will Mini LED improve your overall experience? Like, yes, the colors are gonna be better, deeper blacks, better contrast, maybe better brightness, but what that does exactly mean? 
Isn't the current Pro just good enough for anything you are doing on the display? I mean, the display looks beautiful. It's sharp, it's colorful, it's really accurate. Plus, it has promotion, so it already has kind of anything you need. And will Mini LED be better? Yes, absolutely. It's gonna bring a little bit of better colors, better contrast, better HDR content for your watching and things like that. But it's not gonna be a huge upgrade because we gotta realize the fact that Apple pushes their displays to the limits. So they push the LCD technology that current iPad Pro has literally to the limits. And it doesn't look that much different from OLED displays. I mean, I was comparing side to side iPhone 11 to iPhone 12. And yes, the difference was, but it wasn't as huge as people were making it. The colors on the 11 were still beautiful, just like they are on the iPad Pro. So. Yes, it's gonna be an upgrade, it's gonna be long-awaited upgrade, but it's probably gonna only happen to 12.9 inch model, which is rumored to also have maybe more RAM or stuff like that to, you know, differentiate from cheaper 11 inch Pro. But still, I don't consider it to be that huge of an upgrade. The performance, I think, is the most important since it's gonna bring longevity and things like that, better performance, more software support, so I'm all in for that. I'm also all in for better displays. But if it doesn't happen for 11 inch, I mean, I'll be a little bit disappointed, but I also will be okay with that. And it won't stop me from really buying it since the current displays are really beautiful. And on my iPod mini 5, I was never like, ah, damn it, I wish I had a little bit better colors on stuff like that. Actually, things are pretty okay. Yes, deeper blacks will be better. So if you are into that, it's probably a great upgrade for you. But I'm just saying that the current LCD on the current Pro is pretty fine and I'm not really gonna trash on it since it's a really great display. Also, the new iPad Pro is rumored to bring 5G as well as some other things. What things? Well, that we have to see in the incoming Apple March event. That's gonna be probably on March 23rd, so pretty, pretty soon. And that will be this for now. If you enjoyed this video once more, please press the like button, subscribe for content like that and much more. And more importantly, be sure to be well. Until next time, and peace.